Hey guys, my name is Cidiac and welcome back to another episode of Canal Town here in City Skylines where today we're going to hopefully fix a few problems and get out of here Siri and at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, get our very first ferry line tearing through the city. Now last episode I asked you guys what we should call the brand new region. Well, the main peninsula, the main canal section of our brand new city. And I kind of joked around about calling it New Amsterdam. And, like, you guys kind of like the idea of it. And it kind of makes sense. Because, you know, it's new. It looks like Amsterdam. No! Am. Stir. Damn. I think I spelled it right. I think I spelled it right. But we now have New Ham ha Amsterdam. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dutch people listening. I'm sorry, Dutchies. Uh, but we now have New Amsterdam. Uh, eventually, I might region off uh, different parts of the city. And you guys give me some really, really good name sessions for that in the future. But there we have it. New Amsterdam. And in the middle, Terry Murray Park. Now, we had some garbage issues last episode. Uh, and one of the reasons why we had so many of them is because, one, I tried to turn this building off. Because I don't want to use the landfill site anymore, which is now emptied. I can get rid of it. Uh, two, I had all my garbage over here, which is not a good idea for the general getting over there. But the reason for it is, I didn't want to move anything over here and start polluting, which is why I kept it over there. In the end, I had to move one over here and over here, just for the sake of getting it all um, collected. But I want to try and build a dedicated garbage area a little bit closer by. We'll have like smaller pockets of garbage areas dotted around. And so when we bring this road out, and I think I'm going to build it round about here somewhere. Only a place a couple down, and then we'll still have a couple over here. And then eventually some over there as well. We'll just kind of nicely try and space them out. Now, before we do all that, I want to plan a ferry line. Now, I've got a couple of issues that I didn't kind of um, think about when I came to it. And that is the, how do people get on and off a ferry? Well, obviously, they use um, the ferry stops. Either a ferry stop or they use a ferry pier. Now, a ferry pier is huge. It's big for the big boys. It's even bigger for the small boys, which is why we're going to have to use a ferry stop. Uh, this is perfect. The only problem is um, the road it connects to needs to be set quite far back <laughs> um, from the actual uh, canal. Now, most of my roads are right against it. Apart from these ones, these ones are kind of perfect, uh, as you can see, for the spacing. But I've got to figure out a route and then how I'm going to connect it. But because I'm going to add ferries in, right, I'm only going to be able to technically be able to run the one ferry line at the moment. I say only able to afford, like I'm not making 7000 a week right now. Let me see. Yeah, it's in play mode. Um, but that money is going to disappear very, very quickly. Don't get me wrong. As I place down a lot of the buildings that this city doesn't need right now. Uh, I'm just going to get one in. And that one ferry line is going to do a big loop. It's going to go through New Amsterdam. It's then going to go up here, come down this ferry line here. And then I somehow want it to come through the industrial area to then complete the loop again. So everybody's being picked up and transported to wherever they want to go. You, you kind of get where I'm coming from with this. Uh, just for now, this will be my first one. And then eventually we'll have dedicated ferry routes when I've got a little bit more spare cash money moolah. But it does mean... I need to figure out how we're bringing a ferry line through here, or canal system, to connect up. Now, I thought about it in two ways. I have thought about it in two ways right now. I could just simply go through over on this side, like I was planning to anyway, come down here, and then maybe connect it to there. But then I thought to myself, well, I could connect it from this one. I could maybe run it parallel on the inside of this highway and connect to there. I could create or give up this middle route section here to kind of tear through my ferry line you know just i mean it will clean up a lot of the areas because we don't have so much dominant industrial coming through um you know what i mean it's it's a tough one to kind of decide and i think what i'm going to do is potentially just give up this middle run here and uh i think it'll look quite kind of quite nice i'm i am going to have to elevate quite a little bit more of this area and get to get everything all connected and reconfigure this. But I'm going to connect it to here. It's going to tear through, connect to there, and obviously that's going to go in that direction. It's a big task. It's a big challenge. I know. I know. So let's pause. <laughs> 
And let's get this done. So I'm going to go from here. Which we're going to have to kind of any keep through. I'm going to have to delete the canal when it comes back up. But if I bring it to there and then just kind of bring it to here. Now the reason I delete the, ca uh, the canal like this is because when you add this in, you kind of get like a decent um, kind of setup. I think I'm going to lose it now anyway. A decent um, kind of elevation change because this one I made myself and it looks kind of funky. Uh, these ones you kind of get your own decent kind of change and we kind of done it over here as well which looks pretty cool. So we'll go to there with this. Now this will fit through here quite nicely. Oh, I'm about to put it there. It's meant to go on this one. Uh, oh, do you know what? That doesn't align correctly so we're going to have a, a kind of a... S no, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's because these are this way. Damn it, you fool. You're going crazy. So what we're going to have to do then for now... I'm going to have to delete the roads that connect them. I delete these power lines because they're going to go. Uh, delete and delete. So I can then select what's going to be in the middle to go all the way through. Oh, this is going to change a lot. This is going to change a lot of things right now. We'll get rid... Hold on, let me do it on the, the rectangle. Of the industrial on either side. Oh my goodness me. And we've got... We'll just move this quickly over here. There we go. <sighs> right, breathe, Saniac. Breathe. This is going to create a lot of issues in this city right now. In this city. New Amsterdam city. Um, right. All the way through to here. Which is going to have to go and connect to there. So if I just connect it by anarchy, which does mean I'm going to have to elevate. Now, this actually comes quite close to it. So that ain't too bad. I'm just going to elevate this, though, so we'll kind of um, make this go up right now. Now, I've seen your boy, uh, I believe it was Snowy, says I need the pick at all um, to be able to find stuff a whole lot easier. Um, I see your comment. I see your comment, Snowy. But listen, it's your boy Seniac you're dealing with right now. <laughs> you know how the story goes. You know how the story goes right now. <laughs> right, we're going to elevate... Oh no, this is an industrial road, isn't it? Elevate you. Oh, is that what an elevated industrial road looks like? Do you know what? I never even realized this. Never even realized this. So if I just go from there to there to there, and if I just quickly... I know I can angle it just right. Oh, I, I misselected it. I just want to kind of elevate this just for now. To here. Uh, just so I can see what I need to then kind of move. So, that is sticking up because of this here. And that is an asymmetrical road. So, that is one of these roads. Alright, bam, bam, bam. Which we can angle just nice. And we should be able to make the drop fairly decent. I might stick like an extra node or two on this to kind of make the elevation change a little bit nicer. But everything's all good, right? Everything's all good? Yeah. Not really much damage gets caused by this, really, does it? Interesting. And obviously, by tearing this through, it does mean I then have less industrial, uh, which will help the traffic, but I can obviously now grow it and disperse it in my own individual different ways. It should be pretty fun. It should be pretty fun. So let's get this then all set to the right stuffs. Um... Right, from you to you. A more gradual incline, if that is how you want to see it. Now here, I know I can add an additional... Oh, come back here, you fool. Uh, additional node. So I could add, like, say, for example, one here. And then one there. And this is then my way of trying to get that to go down a little bit better. It's going to be a 9.7 elevation change anyway, so you're not really going to get much out of it. But it's as good as. I mean, it's a little bit better than what you, we would have had done. It wouldn't have been a sheer drop. At least it kind of staggers nicely like a staircase. Still think we're going to need a roundabout there at some point. But at the same time, it does now open us up for different connections. Like the industrial here. Go for this one. We can now get it connected there to there because it kind of goes underneath it so that becomes like an additional connection and yeah this bit here is the tricky one and i'm gonna have the same issue with all of this as well we're bringing the ferries through 
do I add a node in and then raise it? Because the, fe the, the, the ferry boats are going to clip through all these bridges anyway. I think... I think we'll just get it in for now. Wait, is all that elevated? I've just built this road here elevated, haven't I? Yeah. Well, we'll just get the bridges in for now, as I'm doing it normally. And then when we get all the ferries in, we'll just kind of see how they react. And how different the sizing is before I change anything. So, I'm thinking I might redo this section here. So, if I had this come across there to there... Delete you, delete you. How far can this run? So I can bring it to there. I can add that elevate up. And normally that would be the, the, the thing that kind of cuts through, wouldn't it? So I can just kind of kill off that and that. And stay true to my designs. Like this. Yeah. So that's kind of how we'll, we'll have it go. So it's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm going to get rid of these power lines because I might now be able to redo them going in different directions. So do I go for a nice little bend on the canal system here? How far is it currently out? So 22 by 25. I mean, I've seen worse. Uh, or do I diagonal it? See, I never thought of that, did I? So if I brought this out, so what's it what's it out by? Twenty two. So if I come out by twelve, hmm, I'm not feeling the diagonal. To be honest with you, I could just go straight up and do a T. Obviously, kill that off. I don't know. Would it would it go somewhere else? Would it cut through? I don't think it would. You know what? Forget this. Let's just do. So that was always going to be a twenty-two, wasn't it? Bring this up again. Was that always going to be a twenty-two? Yes. So if I come out by a twelve, and then we're stuck with a ten by ten. In we go. No dramas, mate. No freaking dramas right now. So we're all good to go. So the mission industry that we've now got rid of, we're now going to place or rezone it back down. So we'll go up to about there. We'll kind of give a two gap. Running all the way down. We'll cover this up to here. That's all in. And we'll also try and build or try and like allocate a certain area here for our garbage collection. Now, I feel like I'm going to do it over this side solely because they can hop onto the highway here, skedaddle left and right. But also they've got the underground tunnel that passes through and gets over to here as well. So for these guys, it's a little bit spaced out, but we are also going to build one over here as well. So don't get it twisted. So let me quickly kind of get one of these little areas set up. We'll use this road. We'll come up by the 14 and we'll go across. And I'll go across to just there as it kind of slightly goes over. So we kind of create like our very own little mini cul-de-sac in that kind of way. Uh, oh, we'll also bring the road down by 7. 7. 7 and 7. Very good, very good, very good, very good. So move this then. We'll get these little nice little hot spots right now. So these are a bit chunkier. So I can place these on this inner side. I've got three of these bad boys I've got to move right now. There we go. Place that one there. And then that one will go there. And then that one, another one of these will go here. That is all the garbage I've got in this vicinity, right? Yeah. I won't place any more down just yet. But I've now moved it to a more localized area. So hopefully the pollution doesn't spread too far. And eventually we can throw down some trees. And it will look really, really nice. Time will tell. Time will see. Time will change all of us. Staniak, the philosopher. Um, right. But 
issue is, and again, I'm always going to have this issue. I don't know if that's going to spread over. When I press play. it's all. I just don't know what's going to happen when I press play. Uh, yeah, the issue I'm, I'm always going to have is um, the, the ferry line then. So, I built all this, but I'm still going to have the same issue. I kind of need to have something kind of pushed back slightly to be able to pick everybody up. So, how do I go about doing this? Where would I have a ferry stop here? Do I have multiple ferry stops? Do I add this in there where it will kind of maybe connect to that area? I don't really want it passed over. Maybe I have it just one which is centralized to the whole industrial area. And you'll kind of get away with it a little bit more in this kind of vicinity. So if I placed one, for example, here. Now it does kind of uh, mess up our whole little system, which we're gonna we're gonna experience this everywhere. We're gonna experience this anywhere we kind of place it down. I could go to and stick to maybe the skinny roads like this and connect to, or I could just straight up upgrade them to that style, and then I leave it as that. Would that be so bad? Would that be so bad? I don't know. This is the stuff I don't truly know yet. And I haven't quite figured out. And maybe I should have figured it all out before I started building this kind of system. Right, that didn't kind of go to plan. So that's there. Is that on this one? So we have some paths to kind of connect a little bit easier I could just straight up build an overpass in reality uh, and enable foot traffic to make their way I could do it like a, a four-way overpass in general around this area yeah do you know what I'm gonna do that because I don't really want I want to keep the the, the Past the the pedestrians S safe from this industrial traffic. Bam, bam, bam. Got like got guts to be keeping them safe. So if I go by a six, bam, bam, which then means I can con control them crossing that road which makes it a little bit easier plus i don't probably wouldn't want zoning placed too close to this junction and then it might remove the need for a roundabout then at that point wouldn't it it might do i'm not saying it will i'm just saying it might do i right, delete that for a second right, can i get that there run that to there I can select you straight to here. And then same goes here. So if I try and get you there to there to there. You there to there. See, we've got systems right now. I don't need that one. Surprisingly, I'll get rid of that one as well. And we'll, we'll bring it in. Oh, that kind of moved awkwardly, didn't it? I want to get to this one. It's not going to be perfect. But it will do us justice. And there. Bring you down to there. So this should be all intertwined and connected quite nice. All I've got to then do is throw up some junction restrictions. And say to it, no one can actually cross on the junction. Which will then force their hand into using that little overpass area. So, this will be good. I don't know whether people up here... No, people up here and over there, it should still be within walking distance to the ferry line. But I eventually, you know, incorporate buses and kind of bring everyone into these areas. Now, this here is going to... I'm going to call it version 1, okay? I'm going to call this version 1. I'm sure on the workshop, I'm going to find something that will obviously be very, very close. I can add up right on the edge for a, a, a harbour. I'm sure I'll find something. If anyone knows of it, just let me know in the comment section down below. But this is going to call it version 1. And this is how we're going to incorporate it. So, play mode. 
play mode right now. We'll have a little bit of a fast forward. I know it's going to cause flooding as two waters meet in the middle. But hopefully the flooding's not too bad. Hopefully it's not too bad right now. Now that little kind of section here where they've got to go kind of slightly around won't hinder the vehicle traffic too much. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. But we'll see. And the water's now flooding in quite nicely. I've got to set up some lane management here as well for this. Because that could be an issue. Um, but once I get the ferry lines in anyway, it'll be kind of interesting to see if it does reduce any passenger traffic. So, what's going to be in the middle? There's 100% going to be some flooding. There, there, there cannot not be any flooding right now. There just has to be with the way that this water's now flooding in. So, it's going to meet in the middle. There's going to be a clash of titans. It's all going to bunch up. We're going to experience mass flooding. So, for the first time then, guys, are we actually now getting some flooding? For the first time ever, are we now going to start seeing flooding happening? Interesting. So I know that needs power there, but it will eventually connect uh, when the buildings get built. Right, good stuff. Wait, is there no flooding now? Oh, Senec, you've changed. You always cause flooding. You always cause flooding right now. You've changed. Uh, right, okay. So if we have the one stop there for this area. I want to have a stop here. Now, this actually might space... Okay. So this is a bit tricky. So if I not if I don't anarchy it, it can't quite fit. But if I do anarchy it, we are slightly a little bit too far away. But will they be able to be can right, this is gonna be interesting. Let me just kind of anarchy one down. And oh, we're gonna need a ferry depot before I can build a line. So if I just quickly if I just drop one down here, just for the sake of it. Now I know I've gotta take the road off this stuff. Okay, you can. No, okay, you can't. Okay, we can't add the thing here. It's not close enough. So let me unhook it. We're going to try something else right now. So, get rid of you. Uh, unlock the segment. No, oh, did I unlock the wrong segment? Oh, no. Okay, we're deleting the wrong thing. Full stop. Right, there we go. And then the road, we use the one with the trees. Let's get it all connected back up. And then i got to slightly... Bend it, because the whole road is slightly bent. And if I select this, and then push it... <gasps> oh, damn. So if I get that to there... That should all be unlocked. What's going on? Where's the node? Oh, that is the node, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's try that again. Right, I know what I'm trying to accomplish. Right, I know what I'm trying to accomplish here. I don't really want to make this wider. Because, again, that then ruins, like I said, what I'm trying to accomplish. Now, if I first place it down here. Right. Select it and then move it. Right. It slightly brings the road with us. But then this means if I put it central, I can then bend the road with us. That's what I'm trying to get at. So, I'll have to counteract the road for this. This is the stuff I didn't really take into account. So, if I delete you, delete you, delete you, delete you. Right, it, it, it'll all work in the end. And if I put this... Do I pull it underneath the bridge? Why not? Why, why, why not, boys? Why not pull it underneath the bridge? Because the bridge is kind of is central anyway. Put that over this side, the uh, the tall standy up, up bit. 
And then if I now go back to this, unlock the segment so I can change it and upgrade it to a tree. And we are just going to then use the connection tool. Let's go wabam, wabam. Maximize this as a bend. Beautiful. And you wouldn't even know any difference. Now, obviously, the people living there are going to know the difference because their houses are now about to be destroyed. But look at that. It's it's subtle is the best way to pull it. It's, it's very subtle. And I've got it underneath because they are... It, it is deemed like the most central point. Now, this side, we haven't built it yet. But if I drop this in and then use the connection tool... Bam. Bam. And then unhook it. Upgrade that little section. Subtle but effective is the term we are now looking for. Now this is the this has been the easiest way. That might have seemed difficult, but believe it or not, this has been the easier ones. <laughs> For what we're about to now try to accomplish on the inner city in the middle of New Amsterdam. So, right, back into play mode then. Because that little area is now going to be deleted, but the houses will grow back. They will grow back. Oh, we got some more flooding. So the flooding won't last long anyway. It won't last long. Uh, so we've got to stop there. We've got to stop up here, which does need water and power. We're going to have to bring him down. So we're definitely going to have a stop around here as they come in now this is going to be my issues do i ever stop here or is it stop like here or here where am i actually taking it oh <gasps> it's right i can see this line right in front of my eyes they come down here they can turn there go around down and out i was thinking they might have to come in do this way but i like the idea of kind of going around or they could go this way so I'd have to have either a stop here. I'll probably have a stop here. Because you've got footbridges to connect everybody up. Come down. I'll have a stop there. So would it be two stops or a stop here? Stop there and there. So this one here is for everybody around this side. Stop, like, say here, for example, on that one. There's everyone from this side. That would work. I'd only need two stops, right? I'd only need two stops. So has that flooding now disappeared? Yes. Are we now all settled? I'm fingers crossed we are. Fingers crossed we are right now. So pause again. Uh, okay, so we'll place one here. So we're going to have to do the same thing as before. We're going to have to drop it in. Right. And then we will get rid of the road there. And then fingers crossed, I can just as simply as it, this may sound... It's a bit funky. I say a bit funky. It's very funky right now. Alright, that's about right. It feels about right. We'll unlock that segment. And then we'll drop down some trees. Then paint down all the high density again. Yeah. It's a bit of a pain, but we should be okay. We should technically be okay. So if that one's there, I'll then have... That one's there for all of this. If I throw one there, that'll be for all of this. They're both within walking distance of one another. It's not the end of the world. Unless... I place it on this side. Because it, I, cause that there, I can place it in, and there's no difference of me changing or moving the road. I've just obviously got to unhook it. Okay, apparently I've got to delete it. I unhooked the wrong section. Uh, now, this should be okay. I'll unhook you so I can upgrade you to the tree road. 
And then the low density residential. Oh, I gotta delete this whole run. And then paint it all back in. Because we're we're missing we're missing a little segment then. In all of this. Well that's actually going sideways, isn't it? Yeah. Right, that's good. So technically, if we're put into play mode, the only one I've had to slightly ruin is this. But that's something that we gotta be quite logical about moving forward. Now we're gonna have many ferry stops within here. It's not gonna be just these two here. There's gonna be many, as we're gonna have many different routes going from left to right, from up to down, from here to there, from far to close. They're gonna be everywhere. They're gonna be everywhere. That is the main point of this. So, yeah. This is just a start. It's just a start. Now, before I do get it all set up, I'm going to make or give them a reason to also go over to this area too. So, if I incorporate some commercial here, I've got to bring all the piping work over. But I'm going to do all the zoning first. And then we're going to fill all this up then with the low density residential. So, I'm just going to do it to here. Because that's where it's going to connect. Alright, run that through. And we'll just go up to here. And then straight across. Now, it's going to need power. So, I brought the power in that way, didn't I? So, what I could do here is just run it through the center. I'll bring it to there because it should connect to the end. So actually, I don't think it will. So I'm just going to bring it to there. So we'll have power. I'll have the power. I'll have the water. We're going to be fully functional. So the rest of it will eventually connect as it grows and expands a little bit more. Right. This has actually been quite a uh, interesting one. I'm still not 100% sure on this bend. I'm still not 100% sure on it. But it'll either grow me or I'll want to delete it. You know what I mean? I'm going to have to make the bend a little bit longer. Uh, to kind of make it feel a bit more natural. Yeah. Right, so. Let's get our first ferry line up and running. Well, we're going to have two, obviously, going one way and then one going the other. So this will go this way. That's if it's even possible. Do you know what? It's not po Oh, I only got this connected. Hold on, guys. I do apologize. What am I thinking of here? I think that's might have deleted that little power in the middle. Oh, that's not even the, the one I want to connect. And then here. And then here. Water's required, apparently. Oh, is that canal not in? That canal's not in far enough. There we go. So that line can now work, by the way. So if I start again. Oh, that's another issue I've got, I've just realized. Oh, no. Wait, this is all on the left-hand side. It's That's on the right-hand side. I can't have that one on that side. Ah, oh, I've just realized that. Okay, delete this. Right, it's not the end of the world. I'm glad we, we figured it out now. I mean, I could do. But I've got it on it. So I, I, I thought you could do that, but you can't, obviously. I mean, you could have had another junction. Or that's going all the way up here to turn around to come back down. Right, okay. So it's got to be on the left side. So I could have it here. I could have it there. Um, probably going to have it around about here. Because we've got the path there to walk through and around. So having a road nearby won't be too bad. Yeah, do I want it here? Yeah. I'll throw it there. There's going to be no harm in this one. I'll throw it just about there. So pause again. There we go. And then get this all in. 
I can let me get to that little snap section there. I always forget which one I, I, I don't... Snap road... Is it snap to grid? Oh, there we go. See, this is what I should have done in the first place. That's what I should have done in the first place, boys. So, unhook you to turn you into the tree road. And then, high density residential. I've got to now get back in the, the footbridge that has now been deleted. So, again, la dee da dee da. Uh, got to elevate this up. And then we've got to add the crossing in, right? Do you know what? I forgot how to add the crossing in there. It's not that. How do I add the crossing in right now? I've kind of forgotten how I do it. I've kind of forgotten how to do the the, the crosswalk. Node controller. Is it? Oh, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Cross it. There we go. For a second, I've forgotten how we had to do it. So, now I should be able to do this. So, there. Have I done it wrong again? Oh, wait, hold on. No, 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 no. I think I was okay in the first place, wasn't I? Is it? I've just got to go this way round. So if I went to there, to there, to there, to here. No, I still wouldn't have been okay. So we'll have to flip over to there. Yeah, I still wouldn't have been okay. To here to complete the line. Done, mate. Completed it. Don't ever talk to me again. <laughs> oh, why has this been so stressful? So this is my first line. It's just to get people to and from and to utilize it uh, to begin with. But we'll see our first ferry is leaving in just a moment. Oh, no, they can't leave because I haven't got this connected either. So unhook the road. Pause. Pause. Right, and then we have to get connected the ferry line to there. And then we should see the ferry line coming out. Yes! Finally! Uh, I should get a mod where I turn it into uh, canal boats. That's what I should do. That's what I should do. Now, how busy is these uh, ferry lines going to be? I 100% do not know. I do not know, but it's going to be interesting. Not many people are using this yet, but they will do as more and more people, you know, utilize the ferry system. So, over here. I, there's lots of people. We might need more fairies. Not fairies as in, you know, the magical beans. Fairies, as in the boats. Uh, <laughs> what is he talking about? I have no idea. So, that's all good. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We'll let that run its course and do what it's got to do. Uh, how busy are they going to be over here? Do you know what? There's a fair... There's, this might be the main mode of transport for now, so I might need to up the numbers of how many boats I've got sailing around. So while that does that, then, I'm going to take a look at now sorting this area out. Now, I know that this major canal route here is probably going to skedaddle down and end up finishing somewhere, but I don't know where it should finish. Um, I think it might end up going this way. Or it might just run down here and then cut through this way, which is probably what I think it might do. No, actually, I get it to run parallel with this. See, that would be the idea. So, I want to utilize the parallel mod. So, parallel. We want to go parallel again to here. And if I then increase 
buy what do you reckon? Buy two sets. Three sets maybe. We'll do three. Add that in. There we go. And then we want to use the connection tool to connect these puppies up. So I could go like this where it bends in. Not too shabby. And then that would run and just then simply get rid of that now. Simply connect here to the edge. So it's like the stream comes in, the canals run off. So we've got our main route, which creates another beautiful little island. So the main reason is, I'm just trying to figure out where stuff is going to go so I can add the roads and stuff in. Um, very good, very good, very good. The ferries are now ticking along beautifully. We'll see how long they last before I'm going to add more in. Uh, and then this highway road... We'll probably uh, kind of stick it to an elevated highway. It'll come over and then it'll eventually merge into this four-lane road. Because that should be a two-lane. That is a, actually a three-lane. Right. I'm going to change that to a two-lane. Because there's only two slip roads coming into it. That's an interesting trumpet as well. I like the idea of this. Uh, so that'll be something that I eventually do in the future. Now, we do have to think about the ferry lines connecting through as well. So, yeah. Let's try and figure this one out. So, let me pause it for a minute. Because we're going to take a quick look at the ferry lines. And so see if I need to... In add. the lines then, or probably transport. This will be interesting right now. It's the people waiting. So, it, it says we have five vehicles and 47 passengers. But we know that's a lie. We know that's a lie. We've got hundreds of people now waiting. So, I'm literally going to double the amount of ferries on that line. So, put up the... Um, the vehicle thing here, so over 200% more capacity of vehicles. I wouldn't say more capacity in peeps, that can be moved, but we'll see how those numbers change then. We'll, we'll just see how those numbers then, then start to change. So, it's going to be very interesting. It's like 600 people over here, and this is like an isolated section, which is understandable why there's so many people because it is isolated. But yeah, we'll see how that changes. We'll see how that changes. Anyway, Getting sidetracked right now. We gotta sort this area out. So there might be some flooding happening here, which shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we have this little section here. It's probably gonna come and bend down. I'm gonna try and get this to be very similar to what we've got here. So what do you reckon that is there? Is that this? No. I'm trying to figure this out right now. Why is, why, is the why is the space in here? So I could build it all the way through. Let me quickly pause it to then delete it. And... This is my next issue. Is trying to figure out what the bend here is. So 23. 26. So if I get rid of the, the grid snapping... is 23 that should be similar i'm hoping anyway i'm hoping so this allows me then to kind of then go on to create all kinds of weird patterns now i can kind of keep the the skinny one coming through and then off it goes and then maybe it ends up kind of connecting into there but we're going to need another connection at some point somewhere. So I reckon... Go there. We'll do the third one. Up and in. We'll do the third one. We'll go to here. Well, we really can't get like a straight snap. This whole thing is messed up, isn't it? Too close to another canal, apparently. Even though I've got freaking anarchy on. Don't ever talk to me again. So that snaps into there. <laughs> and then I reckon... 
I reckon I utilize this one as just going straight out. And that can maybe then... No, 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 no. Scrap that idea. Parallel. From here to... Let's just go here for now. Oh, man, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, bam, bam, two. We'll go two on this one. Whack that in. Because then what we can do is have this run to, let's say, there. And if I use the connection tool and add this in as a connection and then just delete, obviously, this bit here, there, and there where this will kind of semi-run into the water. And then we'll keep this kind of free and open so we have a little bit more land. Yeah, boys. This is looking good. This is going to look really good. So at least I get this big area to kind of work and have a little bit of normality. Maybe. Who am I kidding? There ain't going to be no normality right now. All right, I'm just going to move this on this side because... We're also going to have then the canal system tear through here. Which will obviously go under here and then pop up on the other side. So if I just drop that, for example, here now and then go a bit more. So I know where we're going to be pushing it to. And then I could just literally have this go straight in. So if I get rid of the grid snap, can I just connect? Alright, pause there. That's better. That's better. So we still get to keep the canal system, but you can see as it's all close connected major routes and it starts to kind of thin out as we push further up yes this is exactly how your boy wants it what was that then i didn't know i can do that that's weird very weird right anyway um so yeah we'll have this highway then come over and down and connect in which would be glorious so the connection will probably happen here, so I can still utilize to be able to get over to and from certain areas. And then we just need to make a, a compact garbage kind of section. So I reckon that road there, four lane road, which has got the middle section in, which we're gonna change to a tree version. All right, we'll bring this down to, I'm bringing it to about there, and then that will kind of go up and then kind of be connected into the elevated highway. So then we'll come off this and do some beautiful magic. So I'm trying to kind of pick a spot. Should, should I let this run for a little while? Should I pick the middle section here? Alright, put the grid back on. So that's going to be a 23. So I'm just going to utilize the 12. As that being the connection. Oh, whoa, that went funny straight away. As that being the connection point here. So if I'm going to come up by an 11. And then I should be able to do a 40. Do a forty, yeah. We keep we get we get to, we get our little grid format now, don't we? Now I don't want it to be gritty, even though it might look like I am building grids. Um, I don't want it to be ultimately gridly, so kill this off. We're just gonna do grids on this side, as then it eventually goes to pass over. 
So another 10 happens fairly close, but you're not going to be able to fit that in as well. Um, I, don't really, I don't really like the idea of doing grids here. I'll be completely honest with you, I really don't. So if that road went like that, that way... Actually, no. We've got the 11 mark here. We'll do something a little bit different. So that should be the 11 mark. Yep. And then gonna do a 10 by 10 as we go ahead and build our garbage plant section. So I could turn this into industrial or I could turn it into a rural style road, which I actually kind of prefer the idea of at the moment. And then I'm going to bring this up by 10, bring that up by 10 as well. Now here, I could probably get away with a 5 by 5 bend. Running this up, there into there. I'll run it up to there as it is. We'll kind of stick out here by a little bit more. And then we kind of have this plant situation style set up. So run this down with some water. That went kind of skew if. <laughs> oh, get triggered, peeps. Get triggered. Uh, right, and I'm going to pause for a minute as I then move all this stuff. So place one there, move the one over here, over here as well. And we're going to double up on this right now. How much have I got anyway? I got, oh, I've got enough to place down a large one. So in reality, so I could drop this bad boy here. I could also drop another one just there. Um, but I could also fit one in there. So I could drop one here. I could drop in two. I'm going to drop in two just for the sake of it. And then we're just going to bring the power over to connect. So two larger facilities. All the vehicles will now come out. Can delete this little power line right now. And they have a really good highway to connect to or just kind of skedaddle through. It is what it is. But we got some decently sized vehicles. Now eventually, one of these roads will go over and connect to this. So uh, the moment they got to go across all the way down to get over to this area, it will make it very easy for them to connect. Same for here too. So everything will be intertwined. There we go. Kind of in English. And connected so much more beautifully. Now do you reckon enough time has passed with those additional... Um, ferries on the system will be doing any more anything different uh, okay it's definitely put a dent into it because these they were in the 800s and 900s so I reckon with a little bit more time we could see this being pushed and moved down so we, we've saved 37% of car trips now I wonder if I should maybe add another 5 Add another five. We'll see how it then goes. We'll see how it then goes. But I think it would be kind of nice to change the skin of the actual boat itself to maybe like a canal or barge kind of style. That looked really good. Now, I know it does clip in a lot of these overpasses, but it is what it is at the end of the day. It is what it is. Right, are we seeing this now being utilized? Yes, definitely. There was literally vertical, uh, virtually nobody using this overpass. Now we're getting quite a few. Very good, sir. Very good, very good, very good. But we could definitely have to figure out like a, a better system for this in and out here. It's not major at the moment, but I can see it eventually becoming an issue. Uh, this four-lane road can maybe go over, over, and then if I think about setting up a a way to bring in a four-lane, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Scrap that idea. Scrap that idea right now. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. So more ferries coming out. Give them time until they're beautifully spaced. And they'll be picking up all the passengers. So we've got a little bit of a deaf care issue right now. Let's take a look at it. Um, yes, we do. Yes, we do. How much is it? 25 big ones. All right, we'll drop another one in. So I'll get this one just over on this side right now. There we go. And again, we'll eventually make it look like a, a much of a nicer place. 
but we've kind of now opened up a lot more space for us. We've definitely opened up a lot more space for us right now, so we can definitely utilize and build a whole lot more. Liking where this is now going to be running. Same with this. This bend here, maybe not so much, but, you know, we can eventually change that. I could, I should have made it actually kind of bend around and continue with this to pull out. And then I could have made it, it connects there. Nah, cause I'm, I'm trying to utilize then the same route for too many spaces, but we'll leave it as it is. But yes, great improvements. There is a lot of vehicle traffic though driving on these mean streets. I'm going to drive somewhere just kind of import and export in. But we'll, we'll keep, we'll try and keep an eye on it anyway. Now we're going to have the same issues here as we did the garbage with it being so central and localized to the area. Um, we got seven vehicles or hearses in motion. That deceased capacity should slowly be decreasing as time goes on, hopefully. We have the capacity. We might need to build another one anyway. So there's no good pulling it all in the same area. We do have to spread it all out, but I just don't have the, the abilities just yet to build a whole new hospital area. So I think that's what we'll do next episode. We'll take a look at all of the utilities, the needs of the city, and we'll try and build multiple destinations, multiple hubs for these facilities. So very much like what we've just done right now with the garbage. We'll kind of uh, move that over and kind of replicate that within healthcare, within policing, within fire and all that kind of stuff. So we eventually kind of get there. Now, public transport, as we're using more people on the boats, that number is decreasing again. But when we start zoning and more people into it, it's only going to go back up with the amount of people waiting. It really is only going to go back up. But it's kind of cool though, isn't it? It is kind of cool to see the, now the little ferry lines all, you know, skadooling through. We won't, we'll never be making money off these systems. We'll never be making money. Um, it costs us too much to run. <laughs> <laughs> the ferry system it costs us too much we'll never make the money we still got somebody coming in with uh with tourism apparently in park areas commercial zones and toll booths but we'll end it for here guys hope you did enjoy this episode it's slowly coming along we still got a few issues but at least we understand and know what we're going to do and how we're going to plan it all out um but next episode we'll we'll tackle the death care the policing the fire the schooling seeing as we're making a nice chunk of change right now every week we've got some money that we can spend on the utility and kind of social side of our city it's slowly coming along boys we're slowly getting there but until next time i'll see you all soon so good <laughs>